This is a level two functional skills math paper from AQA. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Question one. Here are nine numbers. One, two, two, four, six, seven, 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 nine. Work out the median. So the median is the middle number when you've got the numbers in order. So to work out that middle number, I'm going to cross out one on each side each time. And then we have six in the middle. So we've got to circle the answer and that is six. Put the following numbers in order, starting with the smallest. It's useful to link this with uh, temperatures or money. So I will draw a quick number line here. And then we have zero. So going up here would have one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. On the other side, we'd have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. So as you can see, the smallest number would be negative nine, then negative six, then negative two, then we'd have one, five, and seven. We'll write the numbers out again just to make it clear. So negative nine, negative six, negative two, one, five, seven. So we don't need to include the zero, I just put it there for reference. Circle the value of four y squared when y is equal to negative 3. So we have 4y squared. So that means the value of y is negative 3. So I'm going to rewrite this. 4 and that is negative 3. Now, there is no symbol between 4 and y, which means that we're multiplying. So what I'm going to do, just to not confuse this with subtraction, I'm going to put negative 3 in brackets and put a 2 over to mean that negative 3 is being squared and then multiplied by 4. So negative 3 times negative 3. That's what negative 3 squared is. Let's multiply the digits first. So 3 times 3. That gives us 9. Now looking at the symbols, we've got negative and negative. You might know that that means positive. You could see it as the inverse of a negative, which would be positive as well. So negative 3 squared is equal to 9. Plus 9 is the same as 9. So we can now say 4 times 9. And that gives us 36. So we've got to circle the value and 36 is here. Question 4. Work out the size of angle x. So we've got a triangle, we know that 
all the angles inside a triangle will add up to 180. So we've got 42 here, we've got 85 here, and then we've got X. So we're going to add 42 and 85, and then take that away from 180. Two and five gives us seven, four and eight gives us twelve. Now one hundred and eighty, take away one hundred and twenty-seven. Got to take away seven from the zero, which means we've got to borrow one from the eight. So this is ten, take away seven to give us three. This is now seven, take away two gives us five. 1 take away 1 gives us 0, so 53 degrees is the size of angle X. Question 5, work out 61 take away 4 times 2 cubed. So we're going to have to apply bit mass here. Right, do we have any brackets? No, we don't. Do you have any indices, which is powers? Yes, we do, and that is 2 cubed. So we're going to work out that first. 2 cubed, that is 2 multiplied 3 times by itself, so 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So we're going to rewrite this as 61, take away 4, times 8. So we've done with the index. Do we have any division? No, we don't. Do we have multiplication? Yes, we do. So we're going to do multiplication now. So that is 4 times 8, and that is 32. So 61 now, take away 32. And now we have a subtraction. So 61 take away 32. So we're going to have to take away 2 from the 1. So that means we need to borrow 1 to make this 11. So 11 take away. 2 gives us 9, 5 take away 3 gives us 2, so the answer is 29. Question 6, Laura has a company with 16 employees, each employee has a device that records how many steps they take each day, their resting heart rate. The scatter diagram represents the data for 13 of the employees. The table shows the extra data for the other three employees. So we've got average number of steps per day, 3,600, being matched with average resting heart rate, which is 96 beats per minute, and then 3,400 steps being matched with 100 beats per minute, 3,100 steps being matched with 99 beats per minute. Laura takes an average of 4,000 steps per day. Use the scatter diagram with the extra data to estimate Laura's average resting heart rate, give the units of your answer. You must show your working, which should be on the diagram. So we need to represent the data that we've got on the table in the diagram. The average number of steps per day in thousands is represented horizontally, and the average resting heart rate beats per minute is represented vertically. So. We're going to represent 3,600 steps. 3,000, so there is 3,000, that's 4,000. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions. Now that means this is 3,200, 3,400, 
2600 this is where we need to stop so we're going to go now up to 96 so there we have 90 so 90 between 90 and 100 we've got 10 divisions so that might be 91 92 90 3, 4, 5, 96 should be here. So we'll put across there. And now we've got 3,400 being matched with 100. So 3,400. That is here, so going up to match it with 100 beats per minute. And we have 3100 being matched with 99. So 3,100 is going to be at this point here. And we're going to go up to 99. Now we need to draw a line of best fit. So a line that goes through this point so in the middle so we'd have the points on each side being equal distance from the line roughly obviously this is not absolutely accurate so Laura took 4,000 steps which is this point here so we're gonna go and see where that meets the line of best fit and it is this point here which is 95, 96, 97 so 97 beats per minute I'm going to write the answer in the space provided This is part B of question 6. In total, the 16 employees had 70 days of sick leave last year. Each day of sick leave cost the company £130. Laura thinks that increasing the well-being of the employees may reduce the number of days of sick leave. She pays for gym membership for the 16 employees. The cost for each employee is £15 per month. Laura says, if the number of days of sick leave is reduced by 40%, we will save over £750 per year after paying for gym membership. Is she correct? You must show you're working. Let's work out the cost of gym membership to begin with. So that is £15 per month for 16 employees. So we're going to do 16 times 15. 5 times 6 is 30, so 0 down and 3 carried over. 5 times 1 is 5, and the 3 is 8, so 0 down now. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1, so it's 0. 8 and 6 is 14, so 4 down, 1 carried over. So that is £240 per month for gym membership. But Laura says if the number of days of sick leave is reduced by 40%, we'll save over 750 per year. 
So we've got to work this out per year. We'll multiply it by 12. So 240 times 12. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times, so put 0 down first, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, 0 and 0 is 0, 8 and 0 is 8, 4 and 4 is 8, 2 and 0 is 2, so 2,880 pounds. That's the gym membership cost for a year. Now we've got to reduce the number of days of sick leave by 40 percent so that is 70 days of sick leave so let's break it down 10 percent so 10 percent of 70 that will be 7 because it's 70 divided by 10 which means nothing off is zero so 40 percent will be four times the seven which is 28 days. So we're looking at a reduction of 28 days. Now, 28 days, each day costs the company £130. So we're looking at the savings. So if we do 130 times 28, we'll look at the reduction in cost. So 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 3 is 24, so 4 down and 2 carried over. 8 times 1 is 8 and the 2 is 10. Put a 0 down, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2. So 0 and 0 gives us 0, 4 and 0 gives us 4, 0 and 6 gives us 6, 1 and 2 gives us so £3,640, that's the reduction in cost. So we'll compare this now with the cost of gym membership and we'll see whether that is over 750 So we'll go 3640 take away 2880 is that more than 750? Let's see. So 0 take away 0 gives us 0. 4 takes away, take away 8 means we need to borrow 1 from the 6. So 14 take away 8 gives us 6. 5 take away 8 means we need to borrow 1 from the 3. Make this a 15. Take away 8 gives us 7. 2 take away 2 gives us 0. £760 is over 750 So is she correct? Yes, she is. And £760.